Hi, I'm Gianna Madrini. We're here at New York Fashion Week at the New York Public Library. We'll take a look at one of the hottest designers of New York Fashion Week, Philip Lim. Philip has just been nominated for the Rising Star Award at the Dallas Fashion Awards, and we'll talk to him about his latest collection, Spring 2008. I'm so excited to hear that you have been nominated and you actually, uh, you, you are going to be the Rising uh, Star Award for the Dallas Fashion Awards. Yeah, it's quite an honor and completely surprised. Um, it's, you know, we do what we do, we love what we do and it, it's just icing on the cake that um, the people of Dallas recognize it. Well, I think one of the most wonderful things is your line. You know, you've got all of these really fun pieces that are uh, edgy, but um, you, you know, your your mere mortal can afford the pieces. Um, you know, the the constant inspiration behind Three One Philip Lim is just ourselves. You know, people we are around. It's like birds of a feather flock together. Um, people are asking, who is your idol? Who inspires you? It's people around me. You know, people who work for a living. People who love clothes. People who you know, are conscious of, uh, of the balance of it all. And, um, you know, it's inspiring to be inspired by peop these people. I, I think overall, though, and some, some of your uh, collections that I've seen, that, that the look is still very individual. It's a very individual look. It doesn't look like head-to-toe designer mi match, you know, kind of look. Well, I think that's always the funnest part when you're always guessing, you know, what is it she's wearing, what is it he's wearing. And, you know, I've always believed in putting um, your own stamp on things, we shy away from the head to toe. Uh, where are you taking us this season? This season, Spring 2008, is just taking a moment to reflect on where we came from, where we are now, and just that magic, you know, that journey that, you know, in my wildest dreams I, I never would have dreamt. And um, it's an eclectic, eclectic collection of really uh, pieces, really references, um, um, inspirations that I feel I feel like is all inclusive in this journey to this point and it's a hodgepodge of things but in the end it's the same spirit um, more importantly I was looking at um, photographs of from the 60s and 70s of civilians of celebrities of uh, very um, government figures um, leaving exiting train stations in transition in airports coming off uh, airplanes and I noticed that the kind of clothes they had for transition were quite interesting. It's 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 what they know, and added with what they found, what they discovered. Well, do you spend a lot of time traveling yourself? Not anymore. I do it in my mind. <laughs> uh, more and more, it's uh, it's hard. It's uh, if I'm lucky, I have a weekend off, and I I you know I just. I love traveling. I hope I will be able to. I look forward to. I look forward to coming to Dallas. <laughs> um, and you know, right now it's just an internal journey. Well, I was looking at some of your pieces, and there's a lot of different collections. Um, and there was also a lot of really beautiful colors. A lot of you know, a real shock of color. You know, can you tell us about some of the uh, silhouettes that you're working with for spring? Um, again, this is a hodgepodge of silhouettes. I. I you know, people are obviously, oh, what's the trend this season? And that word trend is just too trendy. And and I think what's more exciting is the essence of a personal wardrobe. You know, some days you want to wear short and tight. Some days you want to wear long and loose. And what's going to put it all together is a certain personal style. Um, the colors we used are, you know, citrons and golden rods and cobalts and mint greens, very it's scarlet, it's very exotic colors, but also toned down with sands and and barks and um, uh, really woodsy, earthy, neutral tones. So that combination of shocking and stabilizing, well, I think it's an interesting proposition. You, you design not only women's, but you also design men. Yes, um, men's is a year old now. We started, this will be the second spring. And, you know, it's it's an army. It's like uh, the men's is the, the boyfriend, the, the brother, the best friends of these girls. You know, it's like a gang of 3-1 Philip Lim. And I understand you have a new store. Tell us about your new store. Yeah, it's quite exciting venture. It's um, We opened the store in Soho. And it's our first company freestanding store, and it's like a laboratory to experiment. Can you give us the address? Yeah, it's 115 Mercer Street in Soho. 
we'll be able to find all the wonderful pieces that we can't find in, in some of the other stores. We get we get the full Philip Lim treatment at your store. You you will find everything your heart desires, hopefully, and more. Um, it's you'll find what you don't see, you'll find what you see, and then you'll find what is special. Thank you so much. I want to wish you all the best with this Thank question. You so much.